The main purpose of this tool is to create, test, share, and edit priority scenarios. To begin, click the big green button on the main page. Turn off the Subbasin Priorities layer that is shown by default and click on the Scenarios tab. To create a new scenario, click on the Create New Scenario button. The first step is to select the geography you are interested in prioritizing. You can choose all watersheds by clicking on the button, and you can clear your selection by clicking anywhere on the map. You can also select a predefined geography like a state or an ecoregion. Or you can manually select a subset of subbasins by clicking and dragging the cursor over the desired planning units. You can add additional non-contiguous units to the selection by simply clicking and dragging on them. You don't have to hold down the control key. Dragging over already selected units will not remove them from the selection. You cannot unselect a single planning unit. You must clear your selection and start again. For this example, let's use the entire study area. Next, we will identify the objectives of our conservation planning exercise, Species Habitat. Click on the Objectives tab. Here we are selecting the proportion of habitat we would like to protect in the prioritization. You can set that proportion for an entire group of fish by first minimizing the drop-down menu, and then setting the slider bar and clicking Apply to All. Or you can set it for a single species or ESU by moving the slider bar or typing in a percentage. Next, we select which constraints you would like to consider. Start by clicking on the Watershed Factors tab. For more information on how these factors were identified, see the data documentation by clicking on Data and Methods at the top of the page. You may set the prioritization to avoid areas that have poor watershed condition or are vulnerable to aquatic invasion or climate change. We'll include only climate change for this scenario. Finally, under the Describe tab, we can name and describe our scenario before running it. Clicking the Run Scenario button will start the process. The prioritization runs in the background and updates you on its progress. This should take only a few seconds. While the process is running, you can review the inputs of the scenario and explore the map. You can also close the window and review your results later. This will not cause you to lose any information. When the scenario has finished running, we see the selected planning units in yellow on the map, and we can review information on inputs and outputs on the left. The first tab of the results shows you what inputs were selected in the scenario. The Focal Species tab shows information for all species, regardless of whether the user chose to include them in the scenario. Species not targeted are shown in gray. For each species, we can see the proportion of habitat captured and whether or not the stated goal was met. Met goals have a check mark. Goals for species not selected in the analysis read NA in gray. And when a goal isn't met, we will see a no in bold with a reminder of the original target. You can also search for a particular species or group by using the search box. The columns can be reordered by clicking on any heading. The Watersheds tab 
shows us how each planning unit rates for the watershed factors we selected. Clicking on the watershed name shows us where it is on the map. And clicking the watershed on the map pulls up a list of the values of that watershed. Simply hovering over the watersheds will also show you the watershed name. Additionally, from the Scenarios tab, you can edit or copy your scenario or download the results as a GIS shapefile that includes a spreadsheet of attributes for use outside of the tool. You can select other scenarios to download in aggregate. You can also share your scenarios with predetermined groups or delete your scenario once you are finished with it.